Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're asking the question, can I marry my fiance online? And the short answer, and believe me, don't leave this video just after the short answer, is possibly, depending on the jurisdiction you're dealing with, there, there are some states in the US, for example, that are allowing what are called proxy marriages. And depending on the jurisdiction, that may be allowed. Now, I'm taking this video from the standpoint of U.S. immigration benefits. There's a number of other sort of tangents you can go off on where a quote-unquote online or proxy marriage does not grant all the benefits that one think of when, when you're thinking of a marriage. So I'm taking this from a U.S. immigration standpoint, but understand, although you may be legally married in a given state, that may not be recognized for even federal benefits, as I'll get in here, as well as other recognition, maybe state to state, depending on certain circumstances. Again, it, it, this is kind of a, it's, it's kind of an interesting area of the law because it's, it's a little bit nebulous. But long story short, there, there is a lot of information regarding marriage online and in, a, in the context of U.S. immigration. So this is from the Adjudicator's Field Manual. This is, this is from USCIS.gov. And under precedent decisions relating to spouse petitions, in addition to the decisions cited in 21.2H, which apply to I-130 petitions in general, the following precedents apply to petitions filed for a spouse. Matter of B, 5 INN, D December or, yeah, 698, BIA 1954, uh, excuse me, <laughs> December, decision. I knew when I read that that was wrong. Matter of B5, INN, Decision 698, BIA 1954, a proxy marriage must be consummated to be valid for benefits under the Immigration Nationality Act. And then further, again in this adjudicator's field manual, adequacy of evidence, A, law of the land, quote, exceptions under Section B here, it says, although the law of the land generally governs the validity of a relationship, it does not follow that all legal relationships will confer, confer benefits under the act. For example, a marriage contracted solely for the purpose of gaining immigration benefits and not intended to create a life together as man and wife, though valid in the place where contracted, is not valid for benefits under the act, and a proxy marriage is not considered valid under the act unless consummated. So moving forward, we're moving through relevant provisions here. Then under uh, proxy marriages, specifically, Section 101A5 of the Act, that's the Immigration and Nationality Act, provides that the term spouse, wife, or husband does not include a spouse, wife, or husband by reason of any marriage ceremony where the contracting parties thereto are not physically present together at the ceremony unless the, ma unless the marriage has been consummated afterwards. Note, consummation of marriage can only occur after the ceremony, there is no such thing as pre-consummation of a marriage. And then finally, Section 201B of the Act covers aliens exempt from numerical limitations and includes, quote, immediate relatives of United States citizens, spouse, which is not really a defined term under the Act or regulations, though Section 101A.3.5 of the Act does exclude spouses acquired through unconsummated proxy marriages. So long story short, yeah, in theory, one can marry one's fiance online and not be physically present during that, together during that ceremony. However, if, if you're looking for immigration benefits arising from that union, then you could have a real problem with that uh, from the standpoint of U.S. immigration if the, if the matter's unconsummated. And again, there's no pre-consummation. You can't, you can't consummate before having the ceremony. It has to, it has to happen in that specific order. So, again, physical presence for the, the marriage is basically still required for U.S. immigration benefits purposes.